In the heart of South Asia, a civilization flourished, cultivating a rich tapestry of myth, philosophy and religion. This is India, the cradle of Hindu mythology, a spiritual realm where deities and humans coexist and where cosmic laws govern life's ebb and flow. Hindu mythology, a term that encapsulates a broad spectrum of narratives, rituals and beliefs, originates from ancient Vedic texts. These scriptures, written thousands of years ago, form the bedrock of Hindu philosophy. They speak of cosmic creation, divine play, moral dilemmas and spiritual enlightenment. These stories aren't mere flights of fancy, rather, they are an integral part of India's cultural fabric, shaping societal norms, influencing art forms and guiding millions in their spiritual quests. In the realm of Hinduism, prayer plays a pivotal role. It is a profound act of communication between the devotee and the divine, a spiritual practice that transcends the physical realm, reaching into the very heart of the cosmos. There are various forms of Hindu prayers, each with its unique significance and method. Mantra Japa involves the repetition of sacred sounds designed to resonate with the cosmic vibrations. Dhyana or meditation is a practice of mindful contemplation, a silent prayer that seeks inner peace and spiritual enlightenment. Yajna, ritualistic offerings, is a tangible demonstration of devotion, a prayer that invokes divine blessings. Each of these practices aims to align the individual's consciousness with the divine, creating a spiritual connection that transcends the boundaries of space and time. This power of prayer can be understood through the lens of quantum entanglement, a concept in physics that speaks of an inexplicable connection between particles, regardless of the distance separating them. In a similar vein, prayer in Hinduism is seen as a means to entangle our consciousness with the divine, establishing a spiritual link that goes beyond the confines of our physical reality. In the broad spectrum of deities in Hindu mythology, some emerge more prominently than others, their roles bearing intriguing resemblances to current scientific theories. Consider Lord Shiva, the cosmic dancer for example. His rhythmic dance of destruction and creation mirrors the continuous cycle of energy transformation, a basic tenet in physics. We also have Lord Brahma, the creator, whose four faces represent the four dimensions of space and time, a theme that aligns with Einstein's theory of relativity. Vishnu, the preserver, is thought to invent realities, a notion that bears a compelling resemblance to the multiverse concept in cosmology. Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge, personifies the quest for wisdom and education, a principle that forms the basis of the scientific method. Lord Hanuman, the monkey god, embodies the power of the mind and the potential of human intellect, paying homage to the intriguing field of neuroscience. In the harmonious interplay between Hindu mythology and modern scientific thought, we dive into the enigmatic sphere of consciousness, a topic that continues to perplex philosophers and scientists. According to Hindu beliefs, the universe we observe is an outward expression of supreme consciousness, referenced as Brahman, and the act of prayer is an instrument to synchronize the individual awareness with this cosmic entity. This notion finds a parallel in quantum physics, positing that observers' presence alters the reality they observe. As we traverse further into the cosmic enigma, it's fascinating to encounter moments where the ancient wisdom of Hindu mythology and the breakthroughs of contemporary science appear to merge. As though the wise old sages precociously contemplated principles that our modern scientific minds only just started to grasp. In scene 5, we delve into the timeless relevance of Hindu mythology. This perfect balance between ancestral sagacity and contemporary comprehension is a testament to the enduring pertinence of these mythological narratives. It's not a matter of validating mythology with science or vice versa. It's a celebration of the deep perceptions our predecessors held about the essence of existence. These insights remain in harmony with our ongoing pursuit to comprehend the universe. In culmination, both Hindu mythology and modern science, despite their individual trajectories, appear to intersect at the same truth, our integral part in a grand cosmic scheme, intricately linked and perpetually enthralling. The eternal dance of Shiva persists, paralleling our continual for knowledge. The knowledge of our ancestors and the breakthroughs of contemporary science are simply distinct stanzas of the same cosmic hymn, a melody that initiated at the birth of time and will continue to reverberate through the hallways of infinity. Voice over, scene 6, Hindu gods as interdimensional beings. As we delve deeper into the realm of Hindu mythology, 
it becomes clear that the gods are not simply limited to a three-dimensional existence. Fascinatingly, these divine figures are often portrayed with numerous arms, a visual representation of their capacity to function within multiple dimensions at once. Let's take a closer look at the concept of Lokas or various realms of existence. Each of these realms, with its unique inhabitants and laws, can be interpreted as a metaphor for different dimensions. This idea resonates with today's theories, suggesting the potential existence of multiple dimensions beyond our own. Furthermore, the Hindu gods' capability to appear in numerous locations simultaneously suggests they might be interdimensional entities. A prime example of this is Lord Krishna's cosmic form in the Bhagavad Gita, where he manifests himself in an infinite number of forms across various dimensions. These portrayals of the gods as interdimensional beings underscore the richness and intricacy of Hindu mythology. They draw an interesting parallel with modern scientific theories, providing yet another dimension to our exploration of the symbiosis between ancient knowledge and contemporary comprehension. Voices over. Scene 7, Vimana, Ancient UFOs in Hindu Mythology As we further delve into the fascinating depths of Hindu mythology, we discover intriguing references to Vimanas. These flying chariots, used by the gods, were said to have the power to traverse different dimensions, akin to the modern-day UFOs that seem to defy the laws of space and time. The ancient texts describe Vimanas with remarkable detail, outlining their ability to move in any direction, disappear and reappear at will, and even change size. Some theories suggest that these Vimanas were not simply figments of imagination, but advanced technology used for interdimensional travel. The parallels between Vimanas and modern UFO sightings are striking. Both are often described as glowing objects that move in ways beyond our current understanding of physics. They appear and disappear abruptly and their origin and purpose remain shrouded in mystery. The Vimanas of Hindu mythology and the UFOs of today, both seemingly defying the laws of space and time, offer yet another intriguing connection between ancient wisdom and modern understanding. This reaffirms the timeless relevance of Hindu mythology and its resonance with the enigmas of the modern world. Voice over. Scene 8. Extraterrestrial life in Hindu mythology. Continuing our exploration, we now venture into the realm of extraterrestrial life as perceived in Hindu mythology. The ancient scriptures refer to various celestial beings known as Devas and Asuras, who inhabited realms beyond our earthly existence. These beings, often endowed with supernatural powers, were described as residing in different dimensions, or Lokas. Interestingly, modern science is now probing the possibility of multidimensional universes and the existence of extraterrestrial life. These celestial beings in Hindu mythology had their unique cultures, technologies and even weapons reminiscent of what we might conceive as advanced alien civilizations today. The Sudarshana Chakra of Lord Vishnu, a spinning discus-like weapon with the power to destroy anything in its path, is a prime example. Could this be an interpretation of a highly advanced technology unknown to us? The concept of extraterrestrial life in Hindu mythology coupled with the descriptions of advanced Vimanas, offers a compelling perspective. Could it be that the ancient seers were hinting at the existence of advanced civilizations in other dimensions or planets? Does Hindu mythology hold the key to understanding the mysteries of extraterrestrial life that modern science is grappling with today? As we wrap up this enlightening exploration of Hindu mythology and its parallels with modern science, we hope you have gained a new perspective on the timeless wisdom embedded in these ancient scripts. The fusion of myth and science paints a vivid picture of a universe far more complex and interconnected than we could ever imagine. Closing, if you enjoyed this journey through Hindu mythology and its parallels with modern science, don't forget to like, subscribe and share our video. Stay tuned for more enlightening content.